Hi, Achim Schloss from Space Explorers. Um, we would like to show you a little bit of a PSCR update today. And um, what we are talking about is the POV on the PSCR. As you can see, the POV is fed by the right first stage of the back tanks, which means whenever you go on the POV, you breathe the gas from the back tanks. Now, from my point of view, there is an issue um, as soon as you start using stages on the switch block. So, um, right now on the switch block, the back gas is connected, but in, in most diving scenarios, you will run the PCR from a stage. So now, most likely you have a different gas plugged in from the stage than you have in your back tanks. And now the problem is that when you switch the BUV, you're not breathing what you breathe closed circuit. And uh, a couple of years ago, I was uh, witnessing an accident where somebody had plugged in 50% nitrox to descend, then had to stay on the surface in the current for a while and decided to go on the BOV and was breathing 1080, which did not work too good. Let's uh, take it like that. So the idea is as follows. We have this overpressure valve here, which in fact we only need if gas is plugged in here and the two chicken valves are closed so now if there's a pressure buildup because like the first stage is, uh, is bleeding um, then the overpressure valve has to kick in so that's a very unlikely scenario anyway but the moment we do what I'm describing now we don't need this anymore so we take this one off we take a hose, attach it instead, root it all the way up, and then from there back to our BOV. So doing this means that we breathe all the time what we have attached to the switch block. If it is back gas that we're using on the breather, we're still using it in the BOV. But if we plug in a different gas on the switch block and we disconnect the back tanks, obviously we are also on the correct gas on the BOV, which in my opinion is a great safety feature because it prevents accidentally breathing the wrong gas. Um, and at the same time, as now a second stage is connected to that hose, it acts as an overpressure valve. So if the first stage blows, you don't need the overpressure valve anymore, you will have a free flow on the second stage. So it's no problem to remove the overpressure valve. Alright, that's just a, just an idea that I wanted to share. I uh, hope you like this. If so, please subscribe to our channel, check us out on Facebook and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.